What's up, New York? This is Gia Peppers. We are so excited to present the 2017 Voter Guide for the Borough of Staten Island, brought to you by NYC Votes and the New York City Campaign Finance Board. The general election will be held Tuesday, November 7th. Our goal is to empower you, the voter, to make informed choices when you go to the polls. This program gives you the opportunity to see which candidates will make a difference on the issues that you care about. We can't always control what happens nationally, but with our vote, we can definitely have a say about what happens in our neighborhoods and in our city. Local elections can determine everything from the quality of our schools to the cost of living. Before you cast a ballot, don't you want to know more about the candidates and how city government can impact your life? In a moment, we are going to introduce the candidates running for Staten Island Borough President. But first, let's find out some of the issues Staten Island residents care about. Do you plan on voting in the local elections this year and what issues matter to you the most? I do plan on voting. I think local elections are really important and it, the voting actually whatever happens to us is really close to home. And the issues that matter to me since I'm in Staten Island are the buses, MTA. That is the main public transportation for Staten Island so I think they need to add more buses and new bus routes for us. I think um, the drug epidemic that's happening in Staten Island is a real big issue and everybody should really pay attention to that. And me as a resident of Staten Island, should I feel real unsafe. So I think that's something our public advocates should really pay attention to. So tell me about why it's important for you to vote in local elections. Well, for myself, as an undocumented immigrant, I don't have the power to vote, but I can tell many of my siblings who are U.S. citizens to register and actually get involved in the political process. So for them, they're my voice in this election and beyond. So we have, as immigrants, have power here in the great city of New York to ensure that we have a voice and that we are represented regardless of not having the power to vote. But most importantly, it's an issue like immigration. We want to make sure that New York City is still a welcoming city, a tolerant city where everyone, we talk about the American dream, but we also talk about the city that dreams happen. And New York City is one of those places where we want to make sure that we maintain that and that everyone, regardless of your immigration status, can come here and achieve that dream and aspire for a better life for their families. Voting is one of the most important ways we can embrace the opportunity to participate and show we care about our city's future. So make sure you vote for the candidate who best represents your interests and concerns. The borough president is the chief executive and advocate for each borough, making recommendations on budget priorities and capital projects, also reviewing land use decisions. Here are the candidates running for Staten Island borough president. Hi, my name is Hank Bardell, and I'm running for borough president of Staten Island with the Green Party. As borough president, I will be your advocate looking out for your interests. We have on Staten Island many problems, unfortunately. We have a crumbling infrastructure that is causing bad roads and flooding problems. Another a big problem we have here on Staten, uh, Staten Island is drug abuse with both legal and illegal drugs. What do we have to do to solve these and other problems here on Staten Island? To solve the infrastructure problems, we have to spend more money on the infrastructure. To solve the drug problem, we have to spend more money on rehabilitation and also poverty and unemployment, which has been going up on Staten Island. To get the money to do these things, I will advocate for 90% income tax on the wealthy 1%. Hi, I'm Tom Shabanko, and I'm running for borough president. Our country and our borough face difficult times as anger and vulgarity replace calm dialogue and bitterness makes compromise impossible. People have become distrustful of top-down decisions by government that seem out of touch with everyday life. We need to revitalize active community participation with leaders who represent all the residents of our borough in all its diversity 
from all parts of our island, north, south, east, and west. Too many of us worry how we will pay the rent for our homes and our businesses. Too many of our green spaces have been replaced by empty stores, and vacant lots have replaced old buildings, while our schools remain overcrowded. Too many of us spend hours on buses stuck in traffic away from our families, and too many of our children won't be able to afford to live in the neighborhoods in which they grew up. We need a comprehensive master program relying on authentic community participation that will focus on long-term planning of responsible development. Let's work together to inventory and repurpose the glut of empty buildings and vacant lots and build schools, hospitals, and recreation areas. Let's incentivize property owners to hold on to tenants and mom and pop stores. Let's protect our entire shoreline and get ferries and build light rail transit all over the borough. Let's promote tourism for our historic homes and cultural institutions. Let's preserve and protect our borough's beauty and diversity. Together, we can solve our problems. New York City leads the nation on issues that make a difference to us all. And voting in local elections is an important way to show we're a part of the fight. Your vote is your chance to change things. The City Council is the legislative branch of New York City's government responsible for passing local laws, making decisions about land use, investigating and overseeing city agencies, and approving the city's budget. Let's meet the candidates for Staten Island City Council. My name is Camila Hanks and I'm running for City Council in the 49th District. I'm a North Shore native and I'm asking for your vote on September 12th. I know the importance of our community's historic past, vibrant present, and the potential of its exciting future. I was born on the North Shore. I raised my children here. I opened my business here. I've spent my career advocating for smart growth and responsible development. I've served on the City Council Redistricting Commission, as interim president of the Van Duzer Street Civic Association in Stapleton, and as the executive director of the Downtown Staten Island Council, where I led the organization's efforts to bring positive economic development to the North Shore. In 2012, I founded the historic Tappan Park Community Partnership, where I worked with civic leaders, community groups, and local schools to boost cultural and economic development in Stapleton and the surrounding neighborhoods. I've dedicated myself to ensuring Staten Island's rich history remains preserved. I am particularly proud of pioneering the Youth Build Staten Island program, which provided a pathway for at-risk youth to receive advanced vocational education and effective job training. As Councilwoman, I will remain committed and to advancing and expanding youth development programs in the North Shore. I believe the next four years will determine the next 40 years of Staten Island. I'm dedicated to responsible development, increased access to education, and neighborhood preservation. Cast your ballot for Camila Hanks, and together we'll lead the charge for a brighter future on the North Shore. Hi, I'm Mike Penrose, and I'm running for City Council in District 49, Staten Island's North Shore. The North Shore has a remarkable history of ordinary people, doing extraordinary things, but our community deserves more. Crime and safety concerns have grown despite the tireless work of the NYPD. Our neighbors suffer through commuting nightmares created by de development decisions that are quickly leading to overcrowding. Our families and residents deserve first-rate schools, enhanced cultural programs, better parks, more recreational opportunities, and many other improvements. With the proper vision and intelligent decision making, the City Council can directly address these issues. As a father and a husband, I want to provide the representation that our families deserve and take the actions that our residents need. As a president of a civic association in the district, I have heard the concerns of our members. As a frequent attendee of various community meetings, I have listened to people voice their worries. Unfortunately, I have also seen the Council take actions that seem to disregard those voices. I want legislation that takes care of our families, neighbors, and friends. I want to block ineffective budget plans and find responsible, efficient financial solutions. 
I want to make sure that our dedicated police, firefighters, teachers, sanitation workers, and other city agency employees have the support they need and deserve to get their jobs done. I want to show how many of these problems can be effectively addressed with land use decisions for the good of the North Shore. And when elected, I will represent our neighborhoods to City Hall rather than just be another mouthpiece pushing the mayor's agenda on our district. So vote for me, Mike Penrose, on November 7th, and let's give the community the voice it deserves. Hello, I'm Debbie Rose, and I'm asking my constituents of the 49th Council District to vote for me in this upcoming September 12th primary. Our North Shore neighborhood has changed for the better over the last seven years, and I'm honored to be a proud part of that. I worked with the Port Authority, the Parks Department, and DOT to add new waterfront parks and plazas, and I secured $750,000 for the development of a Staten Island Greenway Trail from the Verrazano Bridge to the Gothels Bridge. My request for a new school on the North Shore, PS59, was granted and built, and I provided more than $7 million for technology and equipment, playground upgrades, and the infrastructure upkeep for our other North Shore schools. I brought home millions of dollars in funding to improve both of our hospitals, and I pressed the Health and Hospitals Corporation to finally get started construction on that medical facility in Park Hill. The good news doesn't end there. Through historic land use negotiations, I was able to secure 1,150 construction jobs, 100% union at Empire Outlets and the New York Wheel, plus 1,350 permanent jobs for Staten Islanders when they open. I have also designated $500,000 to help minority and women-owned businesses get started to meet the growing needs of our community. We aren't done yet. Please return me to office so that I can ensure the removal of the Jersey Street Sanitation Garage once and for all, the construction of the new Cromwell Center, and the construction of the new state-of-the-art education complex at the old Staten Island Hospital site. Together, we have done so much for our North Shore neighborhoods. Please vote for me, Debbie Rose, on September 12th so that I can complete the work that we started. I retired about seven years ago and was immediately invited to join a political club based on an article I wrote on the Citizens United Supreme Court decision. I followed up by organizing numerous demonstrations to support working people in the aftermath of the 2008 financial meltdown. Many folks I talk with agree that our best protection is supporting our local economies. I mourn the loss of many long-standing family-owned businesses, and I celebrate the opening of any new business I'm aware of. I'm also very glad to stand on picket lines with union workers, preserving good-paying middle-class jobs. A thriving local economy keeps our money working here longer to the benefit of all of us. I believe communities that see themselves as in it together will naturally be more prosperous and stable. To accomplish this, I will make every effort to reach out to all community groups, of which there are so many doing such great work in my district. We can build growing numbers of involved residents and increase the energy and confidence level dramatically. Progress cannot help but follow. I believe deeply in the American experiment, freedom of speech, peaceable assembly, and consent of the governed. It's suffering a bit these days, but we can, God willing, re-energize it right in our own neighborhoods here in Mid-Island, Staten Island. At the same time, routine problems, potholes, trash, e-waste, pickup, traffic, flow, etc., will continue to be addressed. But we can do that and still reach for a better future beyond just dealing with recurring matters. We are, after all, still Americans, aren't we? My name is Dylan Schwartz, and I'm running for City Council in District 51. I'm running for City Council because South Shore families deserve solutions. Four years ago, I got the call that my mother was in multi-system organ failure, and that was the day I became a caregiver. 
There were no other facilities in Staten Island that could help her heal. So like many families, we had no choice but for her to receive care in New Jersey. Like many in our community have experienced, when we discovered her abused, we brought her home and cared for her every single day on our own. I'm running to be your council member because whether you're caring for a child with developmental disabilities or a family member in the end of their life, supportive services in our community are few and hard to come by. You deserve an advocate who's going to show up and carry you with him to City Hall the same way I fought for my family. For too long, we have been without a full service hospital or adequate public transportation. We've watched friends and loved ones struggle with an opioid epidemic that is out of control. When I was seven, I lost my brother to an overdose, so I know what it's like when a loved one dies because of a senseless act. We have the highest rates of opiate overdose deaths in the city and few places for those struggling with addiction to get on the road to recovery. I will work ardently for new options, including medical marijuana, the only thing that helped my mother when she needed chronic care. When communities have access to medical marijuana, opiate overdose deaths drop by up to 40%. I have plans to deal head-on with drug and opioid overdoses by creating the first Narcan Emergency Response Volunteer Program in the city for residents to alert first responders via text when there is an overdose in their proximity, so they can get quickly on the scene and administer life-saving treatment. I advocate for more education funding for our public schools, to reduce class sizes as well as to upgrade our classrooms with the latest in teaching technologies. I will secure funding for a permanent South Shore ferry with a park and ride so the residents with the longest commute times in the country can get relief. I'm running to be your city council member because we need a tenacious and focused representative with the temperament and experience to deliver results. Voting in local elections is how we can all make a difference on the issues that matter to our community, and it helps us make this city a better place to live and work. I'm proud to be a New Yorker, aren't you? Staten Island, your vote makes a difference. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to vote in the general election on November 7th. NYC Votes is the voter engagement initiative of the NYC Campaign Finance Board. The Voter Guide is a nonpartisan resource produced by the CFB that provides New York City voters with information about candidates for local office. If you are a registered voter, you will receive the guide in the mail and you can find it online at voting.nyc. All candidates for mayor, public advocate, comptroller, borough president, and city council were given the opportunity to record statements for this video guide. Candidates who chose not to record a statement will be listed on screen. In a few instances, candidates who appear here may have been removed from the ballot. You can check voting.nyc anytime for the latest up-to-date information. The candidate's statements are their own, and all candidates have affirmed that their statements are true to the best of their knowledge. The CFB does not endorse any candidate for public office, and the views expressed in these candidate statements do not represent those of the CFB.